Welcome to the Web Development Crash Course in 2022 for beginners. A series of videos where we will go through the first things you need to learn to become a web developer. We will start from scratch with easy concepts. The videos will be really organized so you'll know at any point what to expect. I'm Alicia Rodriguez and this is Time to Code. Have you ever wondered what the web pages we visit every day are made of or what is that of HTML, CSS and JavaScript? Before we dive into the actual video, I'm going to show you what we are going to cover today. So let's see. What we are going to cover is, first, what this video is meant to be for. Second, five reasons why any professional should learn at least the basics of web development. Three, are there any course requirements or prerequisites? Four, skills you need to have. Five, what you're going to learn or get out from this video. And six, introduction to the three languages we are going to learn. Having a well-functioning website is one of the keys to entrepreneurship, where you can display all the information about what you do, so the users can interact with your product, business, or services. So let's start for what this video is meant to be for, and let's start with the first obvious reason. For everyone who wants to learn web development or become a software engineer. But also for everyone who is looking to join a bootcamp like Brighton Network, Ironhack, or Wild Code School, and wants to know the basics or if you are going to enjoy it before investing in a course like this. Three, if you already have some knowledge about HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, but struggle to understand how everything comes together. Four, for a web designer who wants to learn the basic coding concepts and expand their skill set. Someone that works in marketing and wants to create engaging emails. Or a copywriter or a blogger that wants to make their articles more personal. Anyone who is a small business owner, a shop owner, a sales manager, or a writer can benefit from at least some HTML and CSS knowledge. Small business owners often use CMS. CMS is a content management system like WordPress or Squarespace or Wix, where you can create your website by choosing a template and then adding your contact. These are great options for people who want to have a simple website showing their service and content details. Um, you'll be paying for, a, for the template and probably for the CMS separately with, with these options. They tend to be too rigid though, and not as customizable or straight out of the box. So you can watch my videos from two different perspectives. If you are a person that wants to learn how to create your own website, that wants to have that unique and personalized website, so you don't have to rely on a specific template, or even if you prefer to create a Wix, Squarespace, or WordPress out of the box website, uh, because it's more straightforward and you don't have the time to invest in it. But you want to be able to customize some parts of the layout and adapt it to your needs, to your type of content. With my series, you will learn what you need to know about how to add a personal footprint to your CMS website. Right, let's talk about the five reasons why any professional should learn at least the basics of HTML. First one is that to create your own website for your business, your shop, or your company. Second, to update your company's WordPress website. As I said earlier, having minimal knowledge about these three languages is enough to make some tweaks to a CMS website. I worked with WordPress in the past a lot. It was actually my first job when I was just starting as a web developer. And believe me, I'd be rich if they gave me a pound every time the client told me they wanted something simple and that they were happy with the template. But then three weeks later, they always start asking some simple changes. Let's change the position of this image, make this title bigger, change the color of this button. And all of these things are really easy to do, uh, to change if you add some code. But still, if you try to use the out-of-the-box functions from your WordPress or any other CMS you're using, it can be 
a real headache or even impossible to do so because they are not really flexible. It depends on the template, to be honest, but yeah, they are not flexible. So even if you are unsure about investing the time in learning to code because you are not a web developer and you don't want to be one, I really recommend you to take the time and learn the basics. If you're a web designer or work in marketing, you'll be far ahead of other people just by having these skills. Create your web curriculum or portfolio. It's becoming really popular to share a website where you show who you are, your previous experience and your work. Instead of sending your CV, cover letter and portfolio separately, why not having everything together on a website that you can share with all recruiters or have it on your LinkedIn? It looks really professional when someone takes the time or the money to invest in having their own website that represents them to exhibit their work. Four, create nice marketing emails. Email is one of the most effective ways to get and engage with customers. The fifth reason is to create an amazing newsletter. If you're a person that needs to communicate regularly with your subscriber or with your client, deliver the information you want them to receive in a newsletter. Six, create a blog or a blog web website. So if you are a writer, it will be very beneficial for your career to have this knowledge because you can add the format to the text and make it more personal. Add your favorite typography, change the color of the text, or add fancy quotes with big, bold text. You can dramatize your articles more by personalizing them rather than having plain text articles. Right, are there any course requirements or prerequisites? Don't worry about not having any knowledge about this topic, as I will teach you from the bare basics. So you don't need to have any experience at all. So no coding experience is necessary. Yes, a computer with an internet connection is enough. We will use a code editor desktop, a free and really easy to use app that I use every day at work for coding. I don't really like uh, these online test editors. I know it can be handy when you want to code something fast and you don't want to download an application. But if you are watching this video, I understand that you want to properly learn how to code. So I will show you how to do it in the same way a professional will. And basic computer skills, which I'm sure you will have. Talking about skills, I'm a person that believes from my own experience that you get any skill just by working on them. Through experience and hard work, there are not many skills you cannot acquire, really. Nevertheless, if I was to say something, it would probably help if you, are, you love problem solving, you are a curious person, you can follow patterns, you enjoy being creative, you like computers, of course, and you think you'll enjoy spending time playing around with code, trying on different layouts. And last but not least, probably the most important one actually, is that you like to do things for yourself. What are you going to get from these videos? Let's talk about the outcomes. With these videos, you are going to have enough knowledge to start putting together your future website, make some changes to your current website or start sending more engaging emails. In this course, I'm going to show you how to pass from this basic blank and white HTML page to this other page using CSS. Then we are going to add some JavaScript to our page to create cool things and make it more interactive. Once you know all the basics and a bit of theory, I will publish another video where we are going to create a beautiful website. You learn new skills to build real world websites. Why would you invest your time watching my videos? You might ask. And hitting the subscribe button so you make sure you never miss a video that would really help you take your career or business to the next level. What I aim to do with my videos is give you a friendly face to go through this journey with you. Add a bit of UX and UR to our website so we won't only focus on coding. We'll also concentrate on the look and feel and make it easy for the users to interact with. This is an important part of making your website a success. And finally, we won't go too deep into theory. We'll focus on doing the more fun stuff. 
With my position as a senior software engineer in one of the biggest retail British companies and having worked as a UX expert in my previous role, I hope to share with you my knowledge and experience, which might help you in your career. In the same way, I hope you can also help me. So I'd appreciate it if you could leave some feedback or share your thoughts in the comments box below. Let me give you a bit of introduction to the three languages you are going to learn. So these three languages are HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Every website on the internet is built using these three languages. Tools and technologies are coming out constantly and they are constantly changing. Um, of course, it is essential to learn the latest and newer tech, but we need to know the basics first. HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language, defines the meaning and structure of web content in relation to text, videos, link, images, a list of items, and other content to display in a web browser. You learn how the browser interprets HTML code to display the visual elements and the core fundamental aspects of HTML syntax. CSS, which stands for Cascading Style Sheets, is responsible for styling the website. We use CSS to change the appearance and the page layout. You learn to add stunning design elements to make web pages visually aesthetic, taking care of the desktop, tablet, and mobile view. Then we have JavaScript. It's a front-end programming language and is known as the scripting language for web pages. We use it for everything interactive, additional to the website and decides how all the elements should behave and interact with the user. We we'll use JavaScript to take our website to the next level. We'll learn how to animate tests, a list of elements, images, and how to validate forms. Before learning JavaScript, you should first get familiar with and understand HTML and CSS. And by the way, do not confuse JavaScript with the Java programming language, two different things. Great, so now you know why you will watch this video, please hit the subscribe button and ring the bell to be notified when my next video, HTML for Beginners, comes out. And I haven't planned the real world website we can do together, so if you have any idea in mind, please leave me a comment on the website you would like to create. Let's start with the best web development crash course of 2022. Thank you for watching.